Hi everyone, I am Rachna Arora and I am an actuarial professional. This video is in collaboration with Job Bites. In today's video, I am going to tell you about how to make actuarial science as your career option, the pros and cons of this career, struggles that a candidate has to go through, and the subsequent perk that follows. So the first question that comes to everyone's mind is who are actuaries and what do they do? Actuaries are required in almost every field where risk is involved, including banking, insurance, healthcare, and even the non-financial sector. Their ability to analyze data to understand risk makes them specially useful in the field of insurance. They analyze facts, figures and trends to formulate the insurance plans. They hold one of the most important positions in the insurance business as they are the people who deal with a wide range of financial problems related with insurance investment, financial planning and management. They apply mathematical and statistical methods to evaluate the risk for their companies. They determine the associated costs with respect to benefit programs. They work closely with underwriters, claim administrators, regulators and auditors. Premiums some of the responsibilities of actuaries are in designing financial policies and monitoring if there are enough funds in the company, keeping a check on insurance risks to minimize losses, assessing risks for financial planning of the company, determining the rate of interest to be given to customers for the insurance policies, predicting the occurrence of various illnesses such as heart diseases, cancer to name a few, among different groups to incorporate these risks while designing the insurance policies. Now let's talk about that how can one be an actuary. Preferably, one needs to take up commerce with mathematics or PCM after class 10. Actuarial science as a field is all about data, numbers and statistics. Thus, it's very important to have a strong hold on mathematics and statistics. There is no specific requirement for an undergraduate specialization. And you can start giving the papers as soon as you complete your class 12th. But if you pursue mathematics, statistics or economics as your majors while pursuing your actuarial science, then that will allow you to form a strong base and make it a relatively smoother ride in your pursuit of actuarial science as a prospective career. Institute of Actuaries of India is the governing body to complete this qualification to become a fully qualified actuary. However, there are other universities too that offer this course and give an opportunity to students to complete this course within a stipulated time duration and then get the exemptions from the institute. Nevertheless, the first step is to take the ACET. You have to become a member of the Institute of Actuaries of India and in order to become a practicing actuary, one has to clear the actuarial common entrance test. You can appear for the entrance test just after your class 12th or even if you are a graduate or a postgraduate. And the details regarding the registration fees, the duration of the exams, the cost of the course structure and information regarding the examination centers etc. can be gathered by directly looking at the institute's website. Now let's talk about the actuaries specialization after obtaining the necessary qualification. They can be employed as property and casualty insurance actuaries, pension and retirement actuaries, health insurance actuaries, life insurance actuaries. Actuaries have a great scope to get employment opportunities in the government and private sectors too. 
and become a part of the so-called niche corporate circuit. Actuaries are in great demand in employee benefits department, large corporations, government departments, consulting firms, investment firms, underwriting organizations to name a few. Lastly, coming to the pros and cons of selecting actuarial science as a career option. So let's talk about the pros first. A career in actuarial science has a great earning potential and the rate of growth. This career has a great scope to incorporate multiple specializations. So redundancy is never an option. When we talk about the cons, it is an extremely demanding career choice and one needs to be prepared to burn the midnight oil to taste the success in this field. It is a relatively more technical branch and one needs to constantly upgrade their skills to be competitive all the times. So folks, weigh your personalized cost-benefit plan for your bright future and make a smart choice that suits your interests, your personalities to shine bright in your lives. Good luck.